Radio Nuisance. As you can see, I got a Slurpee right here because it is blazing out there. Tongue is blue and all this craziness that's going on right now. Outside it is like triple digits out there. Summer has officially landed, people. So I wanted to bring you guys some heat in another dope segment slash marathon. This right here, guys, is another segment of Welcome to the Bay. But we have right here the faithful keeping the faithful behind me right here as you can see this is my entire san francisco 49ers collection all right here on one z rack i was able to fit all of it on one rack so really stoked for you guys to see my collection my 49ers collection you know just to kind of give you guys some context before i jump into the video as i mentioned in my warriors collection video that i did there was a point in time where i was not collecting so you will see some significant gaps from some of the jerseys that I have in my collection. So, you know, just be advised, you know, if you're like, oh, hey, you don't have this jersey, you don't have that jersey. I wasn't collecting jerseys for about like six years or so. So when I got back into it, I had to kind of pick up where I left off. But there is a lot of history behind me, as you can see right here. You know, everything from like the 80s up until today, you know, I have in my collection behind me. So, you know, I'm gonna try and be as quick and thorough as possible with this video because I don't want to put you guys to sleep but I do hope that you guys brought some soda or your you know your beverage and some popcorn because this is gonna be a movie you feel me and just for the record guys I am not claiming the title of you know 49ers Jersey King or I have the best 49ers Jersey collection out there I'm not claiming that title you know but I am actually very proud of my collection behind me you know I've been collecting for many many moons so um, you know everything that you'll see behind me Hopefully, you'll see that. Without further ado, let me get one more sip of this Slurpee right here. All right, and let's go. All right, so I'm gonna start with the first jersey right here on the rack, and as you can see, it is a Scarlet Red 49ers Classic. If you guys follow the 49ers, or just simply, you know, quarterbacks of the 80s, you will pretty much know who this is right here. This is none other than Cool Joe Montana. You know probably one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play for the 49ers in the game you know period you know i know there's a lot of debate that tom brady's the goat but for a lot of people joe montana is still their goat and he's definitely top five quarterbacks of all time in my opinion um and i'm very proud that he played for the 49ers organization but let me show you both of these because i actually have a set as you can see right here these are both made by mitchell and ness guys and they're both different runs the white one right here is made in korea and the red one is made in korea as well however they're different korea runs so let me show you the jog tag this is the older korea styles as you can see right there and you have the beautiful stitching of joe montana's number 16 right there single stitched and you can see the three stripes of the 49ers is printed on both sides of the jersey both colors um, this has a different kind of print as you could see right there it's a little more glossier on the white one than the red and then the 16 on the arms are single stitched and then let me show you the white one the jog tag so this is a different jog tag guys by Mitchell Ness this is a later Korea run as you can see right there I got both of these jerseys for dirt cheap and as you can see it's single stitched so Mitchell Ness actually made a couple of different versions of Montana's jerseys. I believe they made the, uh, the screen printed uh, vinyl press, heat press jersey of Montana. And then they made a stitched one. Um, I believe the one that Montana wore was the press vinyl one. So in a way, this can be deemed as, um, you know, inaccurate, but it is still a legit authentic jersey. I like the stitch version better, to be honest. But... You know these are classic all right so putting those two back and i'm going to share with you guys some classics 
from the 49ers era, the dynasty era is what most people call it. And I'm gonna show you this one right here. You know, Montana did some tremendous things, but he wouldn't do it without his teammates. And this is one of his teammates that played side by side with him on field. So this guy's right here is a classic rest in peace to the catch, Dwight Clark. You know, he passed away a couple years ago, but you know, when he was playing for the 49ers, did some amazing things. You know, he got the name the catch for having that infamous game winning pass from Montana with the catch. And it was just an overall nostalgic moment for 49ers fans. And as you can see right here, this jersey is pressed on, guys. You can see there is no stitching on this version right here. But everything on the jersey from the stripes to the numbers and even the name on the black on the back, black, sorry, on the back is pressed on. 87 right there. Clark pressed. But it is a beautiful jersey. You know, it's a very heavy press. There is the jock tag, guys. 1981 Dwight Clark. Still brand new with tags, guys. See right there. Brand spanking new neck tag. And also, I just want to mention, guys, um, a lot of times you'll see a lot of Mitchell Ness 49ers jerseys with the three stripes that are, like, stitched on or embroidered onto the, the arm fabric. It's fake. I'm just letting you know right now, guys. Like, I don't know why these counterfeiters continue to do this with their... 49er jerseys but every time i've seen counterfeit 49ers jerseys that are made by mitchell and ness they have like stitched um stripes the stripes are supposed to be you know uh graphic printed onto the jersey not stitched so just a little tip right there and putting this one back we are going to be focusing on another great that played during the dynasty era so moving on to one of my favorite positions in the nfl which are running backs you all know roger craig you know, played during the dynasty era of the 49ers and you know like a lot of the 49ers jerseys they're very you know similar they don't do too much they don't change too much with their uniforms but you know they are timeless classics there is a jock tag made by mitchell and ness 33 on the arm sleeves and the front and back are all stitched along with roger craig's last name on the nameplate is single stitched and this is made in korea as well guys it's the newer korea this is a classic jersey guys nonetheless you know roger craig one of the greats and i don't really need to go into too much detail with him another running back that played for the 49ers who's also known as one of the most explosive players during his time and i have right here a set so these are also both made by mitchell and that's guys these jerseys are none other than ricky waters right here for those of you who don't know you know ricky waters played during the dynasty era of the 49ers won a championship during super bowl 29 with sf but these are the legacy versions guys by mitchell ness mitchell ness later decided to start making like a lower tier of quality jerseys kind of like a replica swingman type jersey tier below the authentic quality but still pretty good quality i think that their legacy line is a lot better than like nike swingmans today and mitchell and that swingmans for the nba but you know here are both versions let me focus on the scarlet red one first you'll see right there you have single stitching on the 32 now traditionally it should be double stitched because you can see the the block shadows you know this is one of my favorite jerseys from the 49ers right here this throwback edition and it is missing a patch guys which i actually have and i was actually meaning to put them on at some point the 75th anniversary patch because in 1994 i believe all nfl teams wore this patch and they had them on the like upper chest portion of the jersey like my steve young one that i'm wearing right here so i'm gonna actually plan on putting these have like a tailor embroider these on to these legacy jerseys to make them more accurate but until now this is what they come with or come like if you just decide to buy it from Mitchell Ness or wherever you know fanatics or whatever website you search for for buying these jerseys but on the back waters his name is single stitched on the nameplate right there and the 32 is single stitched so give you a closer look at that and a fell shield right there and then of course we have Ricky Waters, 1994 NFL Legacy. So this is what the Legacy jock tags look like, guys. So get a good look at that if you guys want to use this as a reference. This is still brand new with tags. This is a size 48 XL. I haven't wore it because I'm actually waiting for me to get the, there it is, guys. So Mitchell and Ness. 
I'm waiting to get the patches slapped on these before I wear them. So I'm hoping, hoping I could get them slapped on before NFL season starts. But here's the white version of it, guys. Clean, clean jersey. Just like the scarlet red one, single stitched. Back, Waters, his name is single stitched with the 32. And then of course you have printed stripes right there on the sleeve. So beautiful, beautiful jersey. I am very proud to own both of these Ricky Waters jerseys. So I have a set. Moving on to another classic. Uh, one of the best linebackers to play for the 49ers, Tina Turner. As you can see, this is another legacy jersey made by Mitchell and Ness. And, or they call it the replica collection, which is basically like a legacy collection. So this is pretty much like before the legacy line, they had like a replica collection line, which is basically like a lower tier jersey. It's basically like the same as the legacy, but you know, of course, still pretty good quality as you can see this right here is single stitch Kena Turner's number you have 1982 Kena Turner with the jock tag right there play before my time man before I was even born <laughs> but as you can see three stripes printed Kena Turner single stitch and his 58 is single stitch as well but it is a clean jersey it's actually really good quality I think you know I like this jersey I'm very satisfied with this one right here so this is the Mitchell Ness uh, replica collection have another great player for the 49ers in the dynasty era running back slash fullbacks is none other than tom rathman this guy was super underrated for the 49ers he played during the dynasty era for the 49ers as well and this is a beautiful jersey guys just like all the other traditional 49ers jerseys single stitched you have the printed right there stripes of the 49ers single stitch 44 on the side then Rathman's last name, along with a 44 in the back, is stitched on. And there is the jock tag, guys. Made in China. So, yeah, guys, Mitchell and Ness later started man getting their jerseys manufactured in China. Um, I know people automatically dupe them as being fake. Um, as far as I know, a lot of the older Mitchell and Ness stuff, three uh, El Salvador runs, were manufactured in different countries. I don't think they had them made in China yet until much later. So, that's another tip just to be aware of. But... Yeah, this is a classic jersey, a uh, very, very underrated player, and I'm um, proud to have this in the collection as well. I'm gonna put this one back, and I'm going to be focusing on one of my favorite players for the 49ers. This player that I'm gonna share with you guys was a hard hitter. He was very, very feared in the NFL. One of the best cornerbacks slash safeties to do it for the NFL and 49ers is None other than the designated hitter, Ronnie Lott, right here, guys. This is the older Mitchell Ness runs made in Korea, as you can see, with that longer jog tag right there. And it is 1989. One of my favorite players for the 49ers during that golden era. You see single stitched, single stitched numbers, three stripes that are printed. Then on the back, you have Ronnie, Ronnie Lott's last name, single stitch onto the nameplate, along with his infamous 42. This guy was a beast, man. I heard so many stories and just things about him and you know my dad actually you know watched Ronnie Lott and that whole dynasty of 49ers play so he would tell me all the stories and stuff you know when I was younger and uh, just to really like look back and look at all the highlights and stuff and documentaries on the 49ers of Ronnie Lott man just I'm in awe man this guy was a beast all right I have another classic 49ers jersey and player that I want to share with you guys and this is not a Mitchell Ness jersey guys but this is like a NFL pro line vintage brand um I found this on eBay for pretty cheap, but this player right here, guys, is none other than John Taylor, NFL Pro Line. Here's the tags, guys. Still brand new with tags. I didn't know too much about this line, um, but my friend, shout out to Pistol Two One Third, who helped me find this jersey online, but told me about it, and I got a really good deal on this jersey. So this is the Pro Line Vintage, made in Honduras. Um, nothing too crazy about this jersey's quality guys it is pressed on it's a little bit lower on the quality side but still a pretty classic jersey and just considering the price i got it for three stripes that are printed john taylor's 82 is printed on and on the back you have taylor's last name that is printed on to the nameplate and then his 82 on the back as well a little bit smaller as you can see right there as i hold it uh, this has like a nice like dazzle material on the upper portion right there of the jersey as you can see late 80s early 90s had styles like that right there all right this next jersey i'm gonna share with you guys right here is a player who was a force to be reckoned with he played his entire career with the 49ers and i also did a review on my channel on his college jersey but if you guys don't know who this is this is none other than 
Jesse Sapolu, as you can see right here, one of the best center guards to play for the 49ers. This is from the 94 season, as you can see, has it has the NFL 75th anniversary diamond patch right there. This is a classic jersey, guys. Really, really rare. It's actually made by Wilson from the Pro Line. Wilson Vintage line, as you can see, is a size 52, which is kind of faded down there, as you can see it. But this is the jock tag, single stitch. It does look a little old, guys. Very vintage jersey. So, you know, that's kind of expected, but you have the stitched on NFL shield right there. No uh, tags on the neck collar and on the back. You have Sapolu's name that is single stitch along with his number 61. As you can see right here, the stripes. Um, I don't know if they got cut. It kind of looks really short like it got cut. I don't know if that's how like the, you know, game worn, game issued, game style, you know, jerseys were worn because, you know, they had their jerseys hiked up a little bit. So you couldn't see all the sleeves. So I don't know if that is how this was made originally or if the previous seller just decided to cut it to make it look more true and accurate to it. But nonetheless, it is, you know, legit. You see 61 and then the Wilson W embroidered that is stitched onto the jersey. Overall, a beautiful jersey. Classic, classic vintage Jesse Sapoli jersey. So I've been showing you a lot of 49ers jerseys so far, but you guys are probably wondering, hey, where's the Jerry Rice jerseys? Do you have any? Hold your horses, because I have a flurry of them that I'm about to show you guys. So why don't we start off with these right here. For those of you who don't know who Jerry Rice is, I'm sorry, you guys gotta Google this man, but probably one of the greatest, if not the greatest wide receiver to ever do it for the NFL. You know, this is classic jerseys right here. These versions are actually both made by Wilson. So these are like original jerseys, guys. From the 94 season, you know, as you see the diamond anniversary patch and if you look closely you could see closer look it says hey you could see that right there so that's a little thing a little feature to look for you know when trying to legit check your jersey so just be mindful of that and then also 80 single stitched nfl shield that is stitched onto the neck collar there is no neck tags from what i've seen from a lot of the vintage wilson jerseys see right there Printed on the back, Jerry Rice, single stitch, along with the 80. And then, of course, I have the white version, also made by Wilson. On the back, Rice, single stitch, and 80 on the back. And I also have this one right here, guys, is the 1990 Pro Bowl Mitchell Ness Authentic of Jerry Rice. It's a really, really clean jersey, really hard to come by in this size. This is actually made in USA, so this is one of their older style jock tags, as you can see right there. And if you look closely, right there where my thumb is it says made in usa that's one little tip to look for and this jersey is printed on the national on the front is printed onto the jersey along with jerry rice's 81 but it's beautiful quality guys i love like the yoke sleeves as you can see right there with that red and white trim and then the 81 on the side then the beautiful patches you know me i'm a sucker for patches has the hawaii 1990 pro bowl patch with that rainbow and the nfl afc nfc such a beautiful patch on both sides right there on the shoulders of the jersey so beautiful beautiful jersey another one made by mitchell and ness back you see jerry rice's name this is an authentic number 80 right there that is double stitched because this is the authentic printed rice Single stitch, 80, double stitch. Beautiful jersey, just like the one that I have right here that I'm wearing, my Steve Young and Jerry Rice during, both worn during the 94 season. White version, I have a set, so let me pull this one again, but I have both versions of this. Here's the white one. This is brand new with tags, guys. You can see right there, still brand new. Just like the red one, double stitched, numbers, stitched, patch. Beautiful sleeves right there, along with the stripes that are printed. Rice's last name is single stitch, along with the 80 on the back, it is double stitch. So beautiful, beautiful jersey. This one is a really nice one right here. This is actually made by Reebok, guys. This is like an authentic style. You can see the quality on this jersey is just insane. You can see right there, it's triple stitched, the 80. Right there, you can see the black layer, the gold layer, and then the white layer that is all just stitched on along with the NFL shield on the neck collar. As you can see, there is a neck tag, size extra large. And this is made in USA, guys. So 
Beautiful, beautiful jersey hit patch 49ers wore during this season. Beautiful, beautiful, as you can see right there. That is stitched on along with the Reebok logo on the side. And then you have the beautiful SF printing right now on the sleeve. So they changed it later on, guys. They started to add, the, they still kept the three stripes, but they now added the SF logo right there. It's printed, you have the embroidered Reebok logo in the back. Rice's name is triple stitched along with the 80. Look at that beautiful quality, guys. Look at the jock tag. So Proline, authentic, you can see right there, Reebok from the 96 season. A beautiful, beautiful jersey. If you guys enjoyed those Jerry Rice jerseys that I shared, I have another great player that I'm gonna show you guys right now that I'm wearing, Steve Young. So let's get into the Steve Young, forever young. So this right here, guys, is the 94 jersey that Steve Young wore during the 49ers era. As you can see, there's the jock tag. And just like the traditional jerseys, printed stripes, along with Steve Young's number eight. Still brand new with tags, guys. Let me show you guys the tags real quick. See right there. Did not wear this jersey yet. This jersey retailed for $275. Eesh, that's kind of pricey, but I didn't pay that price, guys. I got it for much cheaper. 49ers wore the jersey styles like this until later um, in the 94 season when they started to incorporate a little bit of flair. So they wanted to go back to some of their older style jerseys. And you guys are probably wondering, yo, aren't you wearing this jersey? Why do you have two? So this jersey right here, guys, is actually autographed from the legendary quarterback Steve Young who played for the San Francisco 49ers. So this jersey guys, uh, the reason why I have it out like this is because I have not displayed it yet. I'm planning on getting a frame. Um, I had this jersey stored away, but I thought I'd bring it out for the collection video just to share with you guys. So I have two Steve Young jerseys. I have one to rock and of course one to stock. So this is a classic jersey, Steve Young, you know, one of the greatest quarterbacks to play for the 49ers. Beautiful, you know, he won his championship with us for Super Bowl 29, but as you can see right here, it's a beautiful jersey, double stitching. The Niners later then started to wear this during the 94 season where they wanted to kind of pay homage to their jerseys that were worn like in the 50s. So, you know, obviously back in the 50s, the Niners had long sleeves, which were like comprised of Doreen material. It was like a really thick and heavy material. I wouldn't recommend wearing it during the summertime. That, that stuff is just super heavy, but during the 94 season, the 49ers kind of wanted to bring back that old throwback style. And this is kind of how this jersey came about. So if you look at the jerseys from the Niners, like in the 50s era, you can see the resemblance between these because they have the drop shadow. But this is like such a clean classic. And I've heard that the 49ers are planning on bringing back this style this upcoming season in this color. This is a classic jersey, guys. You can see right there. And there is Steve Young's autograph. Right there, hand signed. Shout outs to the homie James King for really hooking me up with this awesome historical jersey piece right here. Can't wait to get this framed. Wearing both jerseys right now. Two styles of this is another Steve Young great jersey, great style. This is the white version. As you can see, this is the Mitchell Ness Authentic. The made in Korea one. I gotta get this jock tag clean, guys. It's a little bit dirty. Made in Korea. Number eight, double stitched. 75th anniversary patch. Beautiful, beautiful jersey all around. I love these style jerseys. I love my 49ers jerseys. Here's another duo classic set right here. These are both made by, well, actually this one is made by Wilson and this one is made by Reebok. So I got the best of both worlds because the NFL changed their uh, manufacturer later on. But here's the Wilson one, guys. So there's the job tag, size 48. Steve Young's is triple stitched with that black, gold, and white. There's the patch, just like the Jerry Rice one I have, made by Reebok, but this is the Wilson version. And the white version, really classic as well. Got the beautiful patch as well, anniversary patch. And then number eight, that is triple stitched. And you have the printed stripes on both sides of the jersey, or both jerseys, I should say. All right, guys, and I have another classic jersey from Steve Young. This is the Pro Bowl jersey worn in the 95 season. And this is a nice one. This is one of my favorite Pro Bowl jerseys from the NFL. This is also made by Mitchell and Ness, guys. You can see right there, there's the jock tag of the jersey. See, you just got the beautiful stars right there on the upper left portion of the chest that is all single stitch on. And you have this nice patch Pro Bowl Hawaii 1995. I know Mitchell Ness recently did a like a re-release of this style and player of Steve Young, but I have the older version. This is the El Salvador run, I believe. Yep, it is El Salvador, so 
There is the neck tag, in case you guys are wondering, size 52. We have Young's name that is single stitched, along with uh, number eight that is triple stitched, guys, with that red, white, and blue. So, very, very patriotic jersey. You have yoke sleeves, just like the 1990 Jerry Rice, but now you have blue and white trim. I highly recommend getting one of these because this is a classic and nice piece to wear. That was my Steve Young mini collection right there, but this player is, uh, uh, he was a very polarizing figure for the NFL period. Played with us and won a Super Bowl with us. As you can see, got some prime time jerseys, man. Must be the money. <laughs> These are Deion Sanders, Mitchell Ness authentic jerseys, both made by Mitchell Ness. Let me show you the Scarlet Red one, 1994. Deion Sanders right there. Got the 21 that is double stitched. Both 94 jerseys. He actually won a Super Bowl with us when he joined, when he left Atlanta. But this is the white version as well. You can see Sanders in the 21. Such a hot jersey, such a great and explosive player to play for the NFL and just overall for the 49ers and many other teams. But this right here, as you can see guys, is a little bit different. You can see the jock tag. It says Deion Sanders, 1994 San Francisco 49ers. Limited edition. So these jerseys, I don't know why Mitchell Ness uh, made some of his jerseys like very limited. I think this was one of them. This jersey is really hard to come by. You see this one pop up a little more often because I know Mitchell Ness has restocked this a couple times, but the white one, you hardly ever see this one pop up, let alone in this size. This is a size 48 extra, extra large. Glad to have the set, you know. Both of these jerseys are classic. Deion Sanders, like I said, a classic player. Very, very interesting, you know. One of those multi-sport athletes. Okay, another player that I want to share with you guys during the time that Deion Sanders went to the 49ers is none other than Ken Norton. Now this one, guys, is made by Starter, but the thing that's a little odd about this is look at that. Look at the arm sleeves. They're really, really long. You can see it should be cut off right here, I think, where the third stripe ends. But for some reason, Starter did this with their jerseys. A simple fix. I'm sure you could get this like cut to make it shorter. This is made by Starter, 52 extra large. You can see right there. Then you have the player's tag, triple stitched. The name is actually double stitched. You can see right there, 51 which is triple stitched. So let me show you the jock tag. I think this is like their replica jerseys that they made. It's like a replica line from Starter, but I mean, for a replica jersey, this is actually pretty good quality. You know, it's almost equip equivalent to like an authentic. So I got this jersey for dirt cheap as well. This jersey, I do want to give a huge shout out to Manolo for getting this jersey tailored. And I'll show you why, because this is none other than Garrison Hurst jock tag. You see that guys, it's a size 56. So this jersey was huge when I bought it, but the reason why I bought it because the price was just so, I could not turn it down. It was so freaking cheap. It almost felt like this was a steal. I mean, it was a steal, but it almost felt like I was robbing the dude because of how cheap this damn jersey was. But this is um, a Reebok Authentic. I love the Reebok NFL jerseys. In my opinion, it's one of the best eras of the NFL jerseys that were made. But you can see right there, Garrison Hurst's number 20 is triple stitched. Now you have the shield, the modified shield that is now changed. And then there is the neck tag, guys. You can see size 56 made in El Salvador is embroidered on along with the three stripes and the SF logo on the back. Hurst's last name, double stitched. And then the number 20 is triple stitched. So beautiful jersey. Shout out to Manolo. Like I said, the magician natty basically tailored this to my size so this fits like an extra large so beautiful beautiful jersey we'll be moving to another polarizing player to play in the nfl very controversial but nonetheless a legendary player to play for the 49ers and just in the nfl this is none other than to i have both of his jerseys so i have the complete set of these right here so as you can see let me focus on the scarlet red version this one is made by adidas guys so as you can see the NFL went through a lot of rebranding. So as you can see, they changed over the years. But Adidas did a pretty good job, I think, with their authentic line when they did. 81 is triple stitched. And then let me show you the neck tag. In case you guys are wondering what it looks like. This is made in El Salvador, guys. Beautiful tag. Owens is last name. Double stitched along with the 81 triple stitch. And then the white version, you see right here, triple stitching made by Adidas as well. Adidas, the three stripes, is embroidered onto the jersey. See right there, printed stripes, and on the back, 
Owens' his name is double stitched along with his 81 that is triple stitched. And the white one is still brand new, guys. Still have the original tags on this bad boy. I need to bust this out pretty soon. Very, very controversial player for the 49ers and just overall in the NFL, but man, this guy had skill. So if you guys didn't watch T.O. during his time, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bach Pro Bowl Authentic of Terrell Owens, T.O. This is a beautiful jersey made by Reebok. It's hard to find a lot of legit Pro Bowl jerseys from the Reebok era. This is one of them, the size 52. And as you can see right there, there is the patch. Beautiful patch with those waves from the Hawaii Pro Bowl 2004. Got the all-star right there. Front chest of the jersey that is embroidered on. It's a heavy jersey, guys. Forgot to mention that. You see the NFC patch right there. Embroidered on, NFL shield. You have this beautiful, like, just sublimated, or not sublimated, but it's kind of like a glossy printed of the stars right there on the front and also on the back of the jersey, which I'll show you in just a second. And then the side panel, you have the trim with that white and red trim right there. Yoke sleeves along with the 81 on the side and the Reebok logo. And then you have the SF logo, the patch right there on the shoulders that is embroidered on. This is a really heavy jersey, guys. I can't tell you how heavy this jersey is, but it's heavy. It's really heavy. Owens is last name. Single stitch along with the 81 and the stars. You can see right there, the stars are like printed onto the jersey, but it has like this like nice glossy look. Triple stitched with the red, blue, and white. All right guys, and I have another set of jerseys I wanna share with you guys. This right here was the actual quarterback that I actually grew up watching with the 49ers. A lot of, a lot of those other players that I share with you guys played before my time. So, you know, I had to go back and watch a lot of his history and you know documentaries but this is actually when i started to become a 49ers fan you know when i actually got to watch football and understand the game more and just you know get more attached to the players so you can see right here these are two classic jerseys another set jeff garcia guys san jose went to san jose state you know so obviously went to the same college as me born and raised i believe he was from gilroy grew up in gilroy but played very close to home. I mean, don't get any closer than San Jose State, but these are the authentic jerseys. These, this one is made by Adidas. You can see right there, number five, Jeff Garcia's number, triple stitch. Also played with TO, guys. You see the printed SF logos, printed Adidas on the back. Garcia's last name and the number five. Here is another one, guys. I'm gonna put this one here for a second. Now, this is a really rare one and special one, um, which I'll share in just a moment, but this is the white version. Number five, that is triple stitched. You see right there is the jock tag. And you can see right here, it has this like CNR Sports, this little sticker. I was like, oh, what is up with that? What, what's with the sticker? Well, turn it around, guys. This jersey is actually autographed from Jeff Garcia himself. So this jersey, I bought this jersey not knowing it was actually signed. <laughs> and I know that's kind of crazy, but for the price I got it for, you know, go figure, right? <laughs> but Jeff Garcia's last name is double stitched along with the number five that is triple stitch. Uh, so I definitely would like to get this jersey again unsigned because I want to frame this jersey. So uh, it's a really rare jersey, guys. Still brand new with tags. You see right there and a classic classic jersey one of the great wide receivers to do it for us as well jj stokes classic classic jersey guys in the 90s you can see right here there is the jock tag this is a reebok authentic from their older reebok line as you can see there's the older reebok logo and then you have the 50th patch you have jj stokes is number 83 super heavy jersey guys triple stitching stokes his last name that is triple stitched along with his 83 one of the best right there. So classic, very, very classic jersey. Probably one of my favorite linebackers. Linebackers is also another position that I really enjoy watching in the NFL, but we have none other than my man, Patrick Willis. So both beautiful jerseys. I'm gonna focus on this one right here, guys. So let me put this one down for a second, but this is a Reebok Authentic, really, really rare to come by. Be careful, guys, because when Reebok started the, you know, creating jerseys for the NFL, there was a lot of fakes that were floating around, and this is one of the few that's actually legit out there. But embroidered, 52, triple stitched, 
Got the NFL shield. Show you the jock tag real quick. There's the newer Reebok jock tags. On the back, you have Willis's last name that is double stitched along with the 52 that is triple stitched on, guys. After Reebok, Nike took over and they rebranded again. So this is the newer authentics made by Nike. This is also Patrick Willis. So you can see the 49ers, they now put the 49ers right there on the chest. And then the 52 that is single stitched. Interesting fabrics and quality for the newer Nike authentics. I know a lot of people complain about them because they don't like the way they feel and fit. I will say this, in all honesty, these jerseys tend to get really stiff if you do wash or clean them a certain way. So you gotta be really careful when you clean these because they just get really like stiff. And this jersey is kind of stiff, but you know, um, I could get that fixed easily. As you can see right there, let me show you the jock tag. This is a size 48, which is like an extra large. It's a newer, it's like a laser jock tag right there. But the 49ers still kept their stripes. Only now you could see the stripes. It's kind of overlapping right there on the sleeves. Kind of weird how they did that, I know. Just a little heads up if looking at their newer style. And then the Nike is actually stitched on to the arms. 52 on the shoulders are stitched along with Willis's last name and 52 on the back. So this is the newer Nike Authentics. My favorite running back of all time for the 49ers. This guy played during the majority of my youth and this guy was a beast still playing to this day in the NFL. How crazy is that, right? But none other than Frank the Tank Gore. You know, he is a Bay Area legend, in my opinion, you know, very well loved. Even though he's playing on a different team, a lot of 49ers fans still love him to this day. And as you can see, these are both authentic, made by Reebok. Here's the white version, guys. You have the 49ers on the front that is embroidered on, along with Frank Gore's infamous number 21, single stitched. You have the three stripes again there that just kind of overlaps on the sides, along with the red Reebok logo on the back. You have Gore's last name that is single stitched, along with his 21. Show you the jock tag right quick. Spandex sides. <laughs> Keep forgetting that, man. Size 50. This I actually have to get tailored because it's a little big, guys. But shout out to the homie for hooking me up on this. Still brand new with tags. You can see right there. 21 is triple stitched. NFL shield on the neck collar. Stripes. Gore's last name double stitched along with a 21 jock tag in case you guys are wondering. Looking for more Frank Gore jerseys, man. So if you have any other of his styles, hit me up because I would love to build a Frank Gore collection. To another quarterback that I grew up watching as well. Wasn't too big of a fan of him. Uh, I mean, I enjoyed him, but it was very frustrating being a fan of the 49ers around this time because we just kept losing. <laughs> but this is right here. Um, shout outs to Alex Smith. I got this jersey from the homie P for dirt cheap, but I've had this jersey for a long time. I actually had this jersey originally when I was in high school, but um, this is like a, just a replica version. Very, very low tier quality. As you can see, everything is just printed on. And then Alex Smith, his name is printed as well, but still a classic jersey, something nice to wear around the house casually, or just, you know, a beater jersey, if you want to call it that. There's a jock tag. Size extra large, so it's not an authentic, so it's just sized. Vernon Davis right here. You already know if you grew up in the 2000s eras and watched the 49ers, Vernon Davis is no stranger. So it's a classic jersey made by Nike, guys. Just like the Willis I showed you guys, the same exact quality. Still brand new. There is the retail tags on this jersey. Size 48 there. Size 48, that laser single stitching, embroidered 49ers. And then if you look at the neck collar, it's kind of crazy because you have like these weird like stripes. And then you have like a rubberized NFL shield. So they changed, they changed it. There's the neck tag as well, guys, in case you guys are wondering. So be careful because the NFL, you know, there's a lot of counterfeiters out there that made fake jerseys during the Nike era as well, but they're pretty easy to spot. I'll probably do a video of that in the near future, but until now, this is what the authentics look like in case you guys are wondering. Or 85 and Vernon Davis's last name is single stitched onto the jersey. And then look at the fabrics. Nike does this now, I think with like a lot of their like recycled materials, it kind of changes. So you have like this traditional polyester mesh right here and then it kind of changes into this like cloth fabric. Very interesting, very, very interesting if you look at it closely. But yeah, Nike 
does that a lot with her NFL Authentics now. You already know, Colin Kaepernick, Cap. I have both jerseys. I'm looking for the black version, the black style jerseys that the 49ers wore during like the time he was around. So if you guys have one in an authentic. This is still brand new, guys. The red one is, as you can see the tags right here, made by Nike. Same exact quality as the Vernon Davis in the back. We have Kaepernick's last name and his number seven that is single stitch. And I have the white version as well. You can see right there, 49ers, seven. Kaepernick and then show you guys a jock tag 48 right there nice jersey and the player again part of 49ers history say what you want about him you know um, I respect him and what he does and what he did for the 49ers so another favorite linebacker of mine that played for the Niners you see right here I got my man Navarro Bowman you know he's now retired for the 49ers retired a little too early in my opinion but did some great things with us played side by side with patrick willis made by nike there's a jock tag beautiful jersey this is the authentic version and then i have also the black version of this i just got this not too long ago guys i got this jersey for dirt cheap uh, i got it for 35 bucks locally so this is not an authentic but it is like they're i think they call them the, the limiteds or unlimiteds i keep forgetting the names guys it's basically like a lower tier below the authentic version but it's still pretty good quality now, especially for the 49ers you know their numbers are single stitch so it's not like it's too much of a difference in my opinion but nonetheless you have the 49ers that is embroidered stitched on along with his 53 you have a gold nike logo that is embroidered on along with the red stripes right there that is printed and then on the back you have bowman's last name that is Stitch onto the nameplate along with his number 53 that is single stitch. And here is the jock tag. Extra large. So I don't understand why this jersey and style gets so much hate, guys. I know a lot of people are like, I hope the 49ers never come back to this style. I personally like it. You know, it's something different. You know, I always feel like with our 49ers uniforms, some you know, it's very, very it's pretty traditional. So I think it's every now and then it's kind of cool to kind of break that a little bit, you know, and just kind of try something new. And I mean, it's black, man. What doesn't go with black? You can literally wear black with anything. So I know a lot of people are saying we copied the Raiders and all that stuff, but it is what it is, man. I personally, I like the style. Hope the Niners bring it back one day, but glad to have this part of the Jersey collection. We are moving on to our current quarterback for the 49ers, Jimmy G Garoppolo. So I did an actual review on this, a more in-depth review. If you guys watch some of my older videos, you know, I could link it as well if you want to check that out. But you know, Jimmy G right now, it's very controversial for the 49ers. At least his tenure, you know, with us is, you know, because took us to the Super Bowl, we lost. Very, very injury prone, I know, but you know, I still believe that he'll take us to the Super Bowl and hopefully win a championship now with our squad. Um, praying for Jimmy G, you know, but I'm gonna give him one more chance. <laughs> but nonetheless, this is the newer Authentics from Nike, the Elite jersey, that's what they call them. Elite Authentics, and as you can see, they now have like shorter cuffs on the arm sleeves, which are supposed to replicate how the players wore or wear them currently on the NFL field. So I personally like this look. I know a lot of people don't. I think that this feature right here really brings out your guns, especially if you got some, you know, pythons you want to put out in the sun, you know, these are the type of jerseys that you want to wear. But nonetheless, you know, this is the authentic version, guys. You know, just like the older Nike stuff, you have the embroidered 49ers along with the number 10 single stitch nfl shield you have like a rubberized nfl shield right there on the mesh as you can see on the neck collar very lightweight now they kind of made some changes size 48 here's the jock tag guys in case you guys are wondering size 48 extra large garoppolo's last name and number 10 is single stitched and yeah one of my personal favorites. I got to get more Elite Authentics from Nike because um, I only have this Jimmy G one, but I want to get a Kittle, Bosa, Debo Samuel. I even want to get uh, just so many. Fred Warner, you know, there's so many other players I want to get in the Authentic versions. But Nike doesn't make a lot of these in Authentic. I don't know why that is. So Nike, if you're watching this, please give us an Authentic. Man, George Kittle. So I actually have a trifecta of this because that's how much I love Kittle. Actually, no, I have have more i have four jerseys so what, what do you call that quadfecta <laughs> but i have four of his jerseys 
You know, I really, really love Kittle, man. It sucked when he got injured last season on and off. But, yo, man, he, this kid is going to go places, especially if we keep him healthy. As you can see right here, I have the red version, the white version, the black version, and I also have the alternate version right here. Let's start with the red one first. Put these down for a second. As you can see right here. These are all of like the replica versions because, you know, when Nike released the authentic of this, it didn't last very long. It sold out so fast and they like they never restocked. So I had to get this as, you know, consolation prize. But this is the limited versions, single stitched 49ers, uh, the rubberized shield right there, printed stripes. The 49ers now have two stripes, guys. They used to have three and then they started, they did away with one. I don't know why that was, but that's what the new uniforms look like extra large kittle's name is single stitch along with 85 so that's the red version just like the red one single stitched 49ers embroidered nfl shield right there printed stripes embroidered nike you have kittle's last name that is single stitch and then you kind of have like that cut right there that's how the newer nfl jerseys have now in their features it's also extra large. A little bit different from my Navarro Bowman, Bowman one. They have two stripes, not three, like the Bowman. And then they kind of did away with those little, like, glossy. I don't know what you call those on the... Let me show you real quick. See that on the Bowman? On the Kittle? They did away with it. I don't know why that was. So, but it is what it is. Slight differences, guys, but I'm glad to have them both. <laughs> 49ers embroidered 85 that is single stitch printed stripes two stripes Kittle's last name is single stitch along with 85 here is the jock tag extra large one of my favorite styles I heard they're bringing back the red one with a patch this upcoming season so I can't wait hope to see it in an authentic Nike I'm telling you so this one is very reminiscent to the 94 seasons with the drop shadows I showed you previously but this is like the limited like replica version so it is single stitched guys it's almost more like the legacy collection from mitchell and ness but you have three stripes right there extra large on the back kittle's last name is single stitch along with the 85 so embroidered nike so this is their alternates high hopes for this guy i wish him the best and hopefully he comes back fully recovered because i really am a huge fan of my man nick bosa so i have both versions i have the red one and the alternate just like the kittle ones nothing too crazy but they're both single stitched along with the stripes bosa's last name right there the alternate 97 bosa's number in the back bosa's name 97 are single stitched so these are my last two 49ers jerseys to show you guys Whew. all right guys so i am sweating bullets it is super hot outside it's like 100 plus degrees and my room it feels a lot warmer but that is my entire 49ers collection up to date as of 2021 hope you guys really enjoyed that please share your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think about my 49ers collection let me know what you guys think about the 49ers are you fans of their jerseys and the team and if so I would love to see your collection, you know? I would love to see you guys tag me, you know, in your 49ers or just other jersey collections because you know, at the end of the day, I'm a jersey head, man. So I love all sorts of jerseys, you know, not just my 49ers, but you know, a lot of people want to know what my team is. Well, my favorite football team, you're looking at it right here. So thank you guys for all the continued support on my channel thus far. I hope this video suits you well. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this little marathon I did for you guys. I'm sweating bullets, so I'm gonna head on out of here. But before I go, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and share the video and all that great stuff. And go Niners. You know, I really do hope that we can win a Super Bowl championship. Anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for me. Thank you guys again for all the continued support. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Faithful, we out. Peace. Thank you.